Hello. Hello, hello, teacher. <risa> Así estuvo, ¿verdad? Así estuvo. Ya estaba esperando ya también era hello. Ajá. Ya sentí ese hinchazo. <risa> Y todo el día, y todo el día, y todo el día lo paso, lo paso repitiendo, repitiendo, y siempre me sale igual. Ahí ando, ahí ando con eso todos los días. Ahí anda con ese cargo de conciencia. Sí, ahí ando, pero voy a aprenderlo a decir bien. Ya, ya va, ahí va, porque se acordó. Sabe sí. que cuando uno está aprendiendo a hablar inglés, y sabe que está aprendiendo a hablar inglés cuando uno mismo se corrige. Cuando usted sí. mismo dice. Ah, no, no es así. Yo creo que me equivoqué. Ahí ya está. Sí, y lo vuelve a repetir. Lo vuelve a repetir. Exacto. Así es. Así ando todo el día. <risa> ya me va a decir hello. <risa> ya, tengo que aprender. Ok. Very good. We're going to wait for the others one more minute. Vamos a esperar un minuto para comenzar, chicos. Ok. Ok. Very good. <risa> hello. Okay, so we're going to start right now with the class, with the people we have, right? Today, we're going to start with class number 15, and that will be video conference number 15. Let me show you the class, and we can do our practice. Today, we are supposed to do a lot of practice with the things that we have watched or we have studied during the class. Present progressive, simple present, WH questions, right? So we're going to do all that for today. Let me go ahead and show you my computer. Give me a moment. Okay. So today's class is about video conference at number 15, unit three review and practice right review and practice yesterday yesterday in the last activity we created questions with wh words right you remember now we didn't listen to the questions we're just practicing 
the questions and you had a verb, right? Each one of you had a specific verb. I see here that Luis and Ricardo, you had the verb work. So we're going to start and we're going to share the questions, right? First, uh, we're going to do it in groups. Right? We're going to work together and then we are going to uh, work as a whole class. But we only have eight people. Vamos a esperar porque solo tenemos ocho participantes. Siete. So let's see. Luis or Ricardo? Ricardo is here? Ricardo Gabriel? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very well. So your verb was work. Right? So, yes. can you please read some of the examples that you created yesterday? Okay. Uh, with what? Uh, the question is, what are you working on Monday? And... What are you working on on Monday? On Monday, mm -hmm. yes. What are you working on on Monday? Double on. Listen. Two on. Yes. What are you working on on Monday? Right. Or you can say, what are you working on next Monday? Right. You can use uh, two. Okay. Because when we say work on, I will say, I'm going to work on my computer. I am going to work on the project. Right. I am going to work on the project on Monday. That's why we okay. need two ones. Okay. Read again. Uh, what are you working on on Monday? And the answer is? Answer is I'm working a math exercise on Monday. Very good. Very good. I, uh, I am working on my exercises on Monday on my exercises on Monday. Very well, very well. Now, I am going to ask right now, Leida or Sandra? Sandra is here. Sandra, you had the verb eat. Yes, eat. Select one of the questions. Mm, who is eating on the cook? Who is? Who is eating on the cook? Who is eating in the kitchen? In the kitchen. Okay, cook is cocinar. In este caso sería kitchen, el lugar. Who mm -hmm. is eating in the kitchen? Who is eating in the kitchen? Very good. What is the answer, Sandrita? My sister is eating on the kitchen. On the eating. eating, eating. My sister is eating on the kitchen. Very good. My sister is eating in the kitchen. In, inside the kitchen. Recuerdan okay. la diferencia entre in y on? Okay, sí. my sister is eating in the kitchen. Very okay. good, Sandrita. Asalia en Concepción. You have the verb study. Give me one example, Asalia, and another one, Concepción. Give me an example. Deme un ejemplo. Give me an example. De, de cual, buenas noches. De cualquiera, teacher. Yes. <clears throat> how, how are we studying in the class? How are we studying in the class? What is the answer? We are studying in the class because university. Okay, in that case, it will be why. Why are you studying in the class? Why are you studying in the class? We are studying in the class because, because of the university, because of the university. Okay, Concepcion. Good evening. Good evening. Who are you studying in the week? 
I am studying English in the week. Okay, read again, please. Read again. What are you studying in the week? I am studying English in the week. I am studying English in the week. Okay, very good. I am I am studying English in the week. Matan tres in out. Pero la escuchamos. Okay. Now, let's continue here. Let's see, Ana. Or Pedro. Ana is here? Ana Gabriela? No? Pedrina, tell me one example of question with play. Ah, okay. Okay, Pedrina. Let's see, Carmen. Right. Yes. Um... Why are you why are you writing a cooking recipe? Why are you writing a cooking recipe? What's the answer? I am writing a cooking recipe because I enjoy to cook. Okay, very good because I enjoy to cook. Excellent job. Excellent job. Angie, your example with uh right Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, can you repeat, teacher, please? Yes, we are sharing the an the questions and the answers that you created yesterday with WH questions. Oh. So can can you give me one example, please? <clears throat> okay. Um, what are you writing right now? Okay, what are you writing right now? Very good. <clears throat> and the answer is? I am, I am, a, I am writing in, a cooking recipe. I am writing <clears throat> a cooking recipe. Very good, Angie. Excellent job. Uh, Celia, you have the word cook. Alexis, you too, you have cook. Okay. Which snack are you cooking? Which is sandwich. not cooking. Uh -huh. I am cooking a sandwich. I am cooking a sandwich. A very good job. I am cooking a sandwich. Very nice. Alexis, you had the word cook. Cook. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what, <clears throat> what are you cooking dinner? Question. Okay. What uh, are you cooking dinner? Uh, yes, um, I am mm. cooking and so the chicken. Okay, what are you cooking for dinner? For dinner, better. For me. or dinner, yes. What are you cooking for dinner? For on dinner. Listen. What? For on listen, dinner. listen, listen, listen. What are you cooking for dinner? What are you mm -hmm. cooking for on dinner. dinner? On dinner, no, for dinner. For dinner. Exactly. For dinner. What's the answer? I am cooking and so. Soup? Creo que sí. Soup. Soup. Uh -huh. Soup uh, day chicken. Okay, I am cooking chicken soup. A revés. I am cooking chicken soup. Okay. Entonces sería, I am cooking and day chicken soup. No, I am cooking chicken soup. Chicken soup. Okay, repeat. I am cooking chicken soup. For dinner, exactly. Um, okay. Very Thank good, you. Alexis. You're welcome. Very good. So we have the examples here, right? With different, Ana Cordova. Give me an example with play. Your questions? 
Ok. Um, uh, what are you playing now? I'm playing soccer now. Very good. What are you playing now? I am playing soccer now. Excellent job. Pedrina, can you hear me? ¿Me escucha, Pedrina? Oh, ya, yeah, yes, ya. Yeah. Okay. Give me an example with WH questions. Eh, de, de, cual, de cualquiera. De cualquiera. De cualquiera. Ah, yeah. cualquiera. Para de, eh, la pregunta o la re, pregunta y respuesta necesita. Va. What are the you playing ring now? Ring now. Okay. What are you playing right now? Very good. And the answer? I am playing basketball right now. Okay. Repeat with me. What are you playing right now? What are you playing right now? Okay. What are you playing right now? What are you playing right now? Playing. 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 Right now. Right now. I am playing basketball right now. I am playing basketball right now. Basketball. Basketball. Right, right now. now. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Pedrina. So we have the questions from yesterday. Do you have any questions about the exercise you did yesterday? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca del ejercicio? ¿Alguna pregunta que no pudieron crear? ¿O que aún tienen dudas y piensan que está mala y necesitan verificar? Teacher, yo tengo dudas en una que armé, uh -huh. pero no se la digo. Yes, or put it in the chat. So we can ah, okay. see. Okay, we can I see. Okay. okay. Vocabulary questions. Ricardo, Sandra, Concepción, Carmen, any questions? Alexis, Ana, Azalia, Angela, Emerson. Any questions? Sure. Yes. Thank you. Uh, ¿Por qué, por qué cambia en la, en, la, en la forma de la ¿cómo se llama? de la posición en la en la palabra en la en la en la, en la question? Because Eso English no es... English is different from Spanish. Okay. The adjectives in English they go before the nouns. For example, in in Spanish we say uh, camisa blanca, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Camisa blanca. That is yes. Spanish. Pero en, Espan en inglés no hablamos de la misma forma. Okay? Yes. We are going to change the position of the words because what is the adjective? The adjective is blanco, right? Blanco in English would be white. Mm -hmm. Okay? I need a white shirt. White, blanco, but antes que el noun, que el sustantivo, que sería en Pero, ese ca caso yeah, shirt. Yeah. Va a cambiar solo en el complemento, nada más, porque la, la, la fórmula de la cuestión tendría que ser. Eh, se llama, a ver. Suchet, ver. Eh, complemento. Ajá, complemento. Ok, Entonces, no, no va a cambiar en el complemento, va a cambiar cuando tengamos un adjetivo. Sus, usted me dijo sopa de pollo, ¿ok? Yes. okay. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo de la sopa? Pollo. De pollo. Entonces, los adjetivos van siempre antes que el sustantivo en inglés. Entonces, ah. tenemos que decir chicken soup. Mm -hmm. Ya entendí. Mm -hmm. We're okay. going to say black pen. No decimos yeah. pen black, no. Black pen. Black mm. pen. Primero el adjetivo. El adjetivo es la característica que describe un sustantivo. Uh -huh. Para... para para hablar de ello, ¿ok? O sea que de lo que se describe va a ir antes y después va a ir... Lo que se está describiendo. Ajá, lo que se está describiendo. Ah, Exacto. Bueno, uh -huh. que no sabía eso. We can say pink notebook. Yellow pen. Right? And so on. Okay. Sí. Dependiendo de la característica que usted le quiera agregar al sustantivo, al noun. So, adjectives first and then the nouns. Okay. okay. Good question, Alexis. Good question. Somebody else? No? 
May I continue? <coughs> Le mandé una oración allí al chat. Oh, yes. Yeah. We have, first we're going to see, uh, Sandra says, which is eating chicken or meat? Okay. Okay. In this case, we're going to say, which, que, que es a chicken or meat? Pollo o carne? O carne. Okay. In English, in English, we have meat, okay? When we say meat, right, we are talking about fish, chicken, and beef, and pork, okay? Cuando estamos hablando de meat, let me put it here. Yes. yes. When we say meat, meat, we say chicken, fish, beef, pork, right? Now, all types. So what are we going to do? With your question, here it says, which is eating chicken or meat? We're going to say, which, which what? Which meat is your mother eating? Which meat is your mother eating? Gabriel, which meat is your mother eating? What is a possible my, answer? My, my mother eating. My mother eating? Like that? Where is the verb to be, Gabriel? My mother eating. Is? Sin miedo, Gabriel. My mother is. Uh -huh. Is eating eating. Uh -huh. Meat. Eh, area. Cow is, meat. Is eating beef. Okay. Okay. My mother is eating beef. Okay, so we have different type of meat. Beef, como de vaca. We can say steak. Dentro de la carne de res, tenemos un montón de tipos. We say chicken, fish, beef, pork, steak. We don't say cow. Okay, we say beef or beef. steak. My mother is eating beef. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, my mother is eating chicken. My mother is eating fish. My mother is eating pork, right? So we have the, the different ones there. Very good. Now, Sandrita, is this clear for you? Yes. Yes? Are you sure? Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. Now we have, how are they playing in the park? They are playing in the park. How, right, how, Significa como, okay? When we say, how are they playing in the park? They are just children, for example. Como que están ahí jugando, right? We cannot say only they are playing in the park. Porque no solamente están preguntando que están haciendo. That would be different. If you're going to ask, what are they doing? What are they doing? They are playing in the park. I see a minute. What are they doing? They are playing in the park. What are they doing? They are writing a cooking recipe. What are they doing? They are cooking chicken soup. What are they doing? They are cooking a snack. But how can we answer this question that you made, Pedrita? Your question says, how are they playing in the park? How are they playing in the park? ¿Cuál podría ser una respuesta para eso, chicos? How are they playing in the park? What could be an answer for this? They, they are playing happy. Okay. They are... Playing 
very happy. Very good. They are playing very happy in the park. Very good. Very good. They are playing very happy in the park. We can add more information. Nicely done. Nicely done. That is one option. We can have many, many more options. Very good. Thank you, Sandrita. Thank you, Pedrina, for your example. Do you have any other questions? Do we have more questions? Teacher. Yes, hey, Alexis. Eh, solo una, una, una question. En ayer usted explicó de, de, de la, sobre la W question. Mm -hmm. eh, yo no tengo, o sea, antes no lo tenía muy claro en sí para qué se ocupaba who, what, when, which, where, how, y which, when. Eh, la, la, la cosa es esta. No sé si estoy en lo correcto. What va a ser para situaciones. Or things. Uh -huh. O oh, sí. Uh -huh. Y when va a ser para tiempo y periodo. Periodo de tiempo. Periodo Exacto. de tiempo, perdón. Which con, va a ser para opciones. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? El where va a ser para lo... El, aquí? Para places y location. Places and location. Places, places and location. Uh -huh. Who va a ser para procesos, por decirlo así. How. How, how, perdón. How. Processes or manners? Manners. ¿Qué es manner? Manners. Like mm -hmm. this. They are playing very happy in the park. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Y el último va a ser reason. Razones, por decirlo reasons. así. Reasons. Reasons. Yes. Reasons. Why oh. is reasons? Exactly. Ok, yo solo tenía así como que son para preguntas. Nada más, pero en sí no sabía para qué tipo de momento las íbamos a ocupar. Ok, but now you know. Or do you have a question now? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta aún? Eh, no, está muy bien. Gracias. Ok, very good, Alexis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ok, pero sí, usted tiene la, la información correcta en estos momentos, Alexis. Ok. Ok, ¿alguien más? Que no le haya, que, que le haya quedado dudas sobre los WH questions. Los vamos a seguir utilizando, chicos, hoy. Sure. In the case of the WH question, who? Mm -hmm. For example, I have, who are you writing the cooking recipe with? O sea, exactly. It's mm -hmm. always, the structure is with, at the end of the statement? Uh, not always, not always. And that is a very good question. Who are you? Repeat it, who are you? Who are you writing the cooking recipe with? The cooking recipe with. Very good. Now, everyone, I want you to pay attention to this. When we have with right here, and this is a great question, this means that you that you were writing the recipe with someone else, okay? Que alguien más le ayudó a usted, usted hizo, hizo esa actividad con esa persona a la par, right? I am writing the cooking recipe with Angie, right? Entre las dos nos estamos dando duda y escribiendo eh, la, la receta de cocina, right? Who are you writing the cooking recipe with? There is another option because we can also say, who are you writing the cooking recipe for? Okay, when we have for at the end, and esas son palabritas super chiquitas, pero que hacen un montón de cambio, okay? When we say for, right? Who are you writing the cooking recipe for? Okay, for example, I don't know how to cook. Okay, I don't know how to cook. But Carmen, she is a chef, okay? Carmen is a chef, I don't know how to cook. So Carmen is going to say, ah, I am going to write a cooking recipe for Sylvia. Okay, for Sylvia. 
So it means that she is giving me a cooking recipe. She is helping me with the cooking recipe. Okay. Ella me está ayudando. Ella es una chef. Ella puede cocinar. Yo no puedo. Right. Y le digo, necesito ayuda. Necesito una receta de cocina. She's going to write a cooking recipe for me. En este es con esa persona y este es para aquella persona en forma de ayuda en la cual generalmente se puede o no se puede recibir dinero a cambio. ¿Ok? Que lo haga por mí, algo así. Ajá, que lo está haciendo por mí. Me está haciendo el favor, digámoslo así. Ok. Right? And then we can say, who are you writing the cooking recipe to? When we have two, right? Yes, ah, lo estoy haciendo para ella, right? I am just writing this to her. When we say two, it means that she is going to give me the cooking recipe. This is to you, like a gift, like a present, okay? So we have different options. And these words are always going to give us problems if we don't study them. Siempre tiene, cada una de ellas tiene un propósito distinto. Fíjense bien, todo es igual, menos la última palabrita. Y esa última palabrita le va a cambiar el contexto de lo que se está, de para qué se está utilizando el verbo. Ok, good question, Carmen. Thank you so much. Y Chale, o sea, que las tres, bien. La, las tres son correctas, las tres cuestiones, las tres sí. preguntas. Las ok. Tres. Las tres, lo más correcto Sorry, del teacher, mundo. Can you repeat the use for two? Yes. Oh, I am writing a cooking recipe. I am going to give it to you. Ah, okay. I give it to you. Okay. So it means... Apparently. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Very good. Questions about this? Teacher, ¿y es necesario siempre que vaya al final con with, for, or two? In this case, yes, because we are writing who. Con, cuando estamos preguntando con, con esta palabra, con WH, who, yes. Ahí sí. Okay. Unless, unless we write this. Who is writing, who is writing the cooking recipe. Pero fíjense bien cómo está esta oración. Who is writing the cooking recipe? Okay. Exactly, Sandra. Carmen is writing the cooking recipe. En esta, no estoy preguntando con quién, ni para quién, ni por quién. Sino estoy, estoy preguntando quién lo está haciendo. Who is writing the cooking recipe? Carmen is writing the cooking recipe. Ella lo está haciendo. Ahí sí no la va a llevar. Cuando estoy preguntando quién está haciendo algo, no lo, por ejemplo, puede decir, who is cooking the sandwich? Celia is cooking a sandwich. Who is playing basketball? Pedrina is playing basketball. Right. Who is working on the project? Ricardo is working on the project. Ahí sí no necesitamos ninguna de estas. ¿Ok? De igual manera es correcta, ¿verdad? O sea claro, que hay cuatro. Sí. Ajá, ok, ok. Thank you, sí. Claro que sí. Ok, mm -hmm. very good. Pero Thank todas you, tienen una, un propósito distinto, Ángela. Ok, no todas serán uh -huh. el mismo propósito. Todas están bien, pero todas se utilizan en contextos distintos. Que es cada uno lo que le acabo de explicar. Depende cómo se, se pregunte. La Depende de qué es lo que quiere preguntar. Uh -huh. Y la respuesta, Ticha, podría ser uh, que uh, yo estoy o she is o... Who are you writing the cooking recipe with? I am writing the cooking recipe with Sandra. Who are you writing the cooking recipe for? I am writing the cooking recipe for Sandra. She doesn't know how to cook. Who are you writing the cooking recipe to? I am writing this to Sandra. Oh, right. yes, I am. Huh? 
Yes, I am, no se puede poner. No, porque no, no son yes, no questions, Cecilia. Okay. Esos son WH questions. With the WH questions, we, are good, we want information. Queremos información. Okay. Uh -huh. Solo con I am se puede responder. No, no se puede. No, ¿verdad? No. No, solo no. con I am se puede responder. No. Que no. <laughs> no. Eh, I am writing the cooking recipe to. Uh -huh. I am writing the cooking recipe with Sandra. Uh -huh. Solo así con I am. Eh. Si le están preguntando esta pregunta, sí. Pero si, por ejemplo, decimos, Who is she writing the cooking recipe with? She is writing the cooking recipe with Fulanita. Uh, she uh -huh. is también. Okay. Sí, es de que aquí, recuérdense que esto, chicos, va a cambiar. Esta parte de acá, esto cambia. Podemos tener is she, are they, are we, dependiendo del sujeto con el que ustedes estén creando la, la pregunta. Este solo es un subject pronoun. ¿Cuántos subject pronouns tenemos, Andrita? Uh, is, is, it, is. We, we, we. Uh -huh. todos los podemos okay. usar aquí para crear preguntas. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Todos, todos, todos. Who are we writing the cooking recipe with? We are writing the cooking recipe with Alexis and Celia. Ok. Very good. Pero sí, los podemos utilizar todos. Dependiendo de qué es lo que queremos preguntar y a quién le queremos preguntar. Ok. Very good. This was a tricky question, Carmen. Thank you so much. Pregunta interesante. Ok. Any other question about this? ¿Que le, para, ¿Quieren revisar alguna de las otras preguntas que han creado? Michelle. Sure. Yes. Eh, tengo una consulta. Eh, las últimas eh, palabras que he escrito en círculo siempre van a tener que ir en esa, en, esa, en esa parte cuando se hace una pregunta de este tipo. Uh -huh. Sí, vaya, ok. Y cuando esas partes las vamos a ocupar, las vamos a utilizar adentro de una oración, no al final, seguirían siendo lo, el mismo significado. No. O van a, o van a cambiar. They change. Uh, ajá. Pregunto, esto porque, pregunto esto porque cuando yo expuse mi, mi question de la de question, pero valga la redundancia, eh, me pronunció como si era for. For dinner, yes. For dinner, ajá. Entonces, Para la ahí, cena. Ajá, ahí, ahí cambió porque for es, acabo de escuchar que es por, por decirlo aquí. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces ahí cambia y es para la cena. Exacto. Exactly. Remember, one? remember something that is very, very important that I, I always going to repeat. Do not, do not attach a word with only one definition. No, no, no casen una palabra con una sola definición en inglés. Por favor, tengan su mente abierta porque una palabra puede tener un sinfín de significados con base en el contexto, con base en el diccionario, ¿ok? Entonces, estas palabritas se llaman prepositions, right? These are prepositions. And prepositions, they have different, they have different meanings because in English we have something that is called phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are words, right? These are words that are composed by a verb and a preposition, okay? So it means they will have different, different meanings, okay? If I have write with, write for, write to, right? Estos, todos estos son phrasal verbs. Un verbo con una preposición. Cada uno tiene un significado distinto. 
el mismo verbo, diferente palabrita al final, pero siempre que vean un verbo con una preposición va a tener un, un, un significado diferente. Entonces no lo podemos siempre traducir de la misma manera, porque puede que cometamos el error que no podamos entender bien de qué están hablando. No, porque las eh, en, en español son A, ante, bajo, con, contra. Algo no, así no, no. Son las, ah, no, algo así, en español son. Son. no. Ajá, ah, no, algo así son. Entonces aquí es bien, es bien, o sea, confuso, pues, porque depende de la oración, es como la vamos a interpretar, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome, Alexis. Thank you so much for your question. Now, any other questions about this, please? No? Okay, let's continue. Not teacher. Let's continue. Si no hay preguntas, continuemos. Okay, and I will continue with the attendance, porque no le tomo asistencia. Give me a moment. <laughs> Give me one second here. While you work, while we check the attendance, we're going to do these exercises, okay? We're doing this exercise right now, which is after the exercise you did yesterday, this is a piece of cake, right? Después del ejercicio que hicieron ayer, esto está pan comido, okay? What are we doing? We're completing the sentences. We are using present progressive if needed, okay? Present progressive, right? That's what we're using right now. Now, we're going to answer this. This is on your manual. I think it's on page 34 or 35. I don't remember well. 36, okay, 36. Very good. Which sports are you playing right now? Playing basketball. Yes, Pedrina, your example is correct. Which sports are you playing right now? I am playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, let's complete this, these uh, five questions. Vamos a completar estas cinco preguntas de forma individual mientras yo paso asistencia y vemos ahorita mismo cuáles son sus respuestas. Emerson, ¿ya entendió cómo vamos? Más o menos. Más o menos. So, so. Más o menos en inglés vamos a decir mm, so, so. More or less. Kind of. Do you understand? Kind of. Okay. Estas son para decir más o menos. So, so. More or less. Kind of. Okay. Now. Trabajemos en el ejercicio y ya les paso la attendance. Let me see here, my dear friends. One moment. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Thank you so much. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Presente, teacher. Thank you so much. Ángela de Salia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Thank you. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present. Silvia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela sí. Mirta Sandoval Avilés. Present. Em Thank you. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Baringa Ventura. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Okay. Now we're going to continue. Did you finish the exercise? Se 
terminaron el ejercicio? ¿Todavía no? Yes. Easy, right? Tell me if you have questions about the exercise. And please uh, put your thumbs up if you finish. On, on Zoom, we have that reaction here. Page 26, What? Page 26. Yes, page 36. 36. Can I check the answers? No, solo vamos a poner lo que está en paréntesis. Exactly. What company are you working for? I am working for Inglés Corporativo. Two more minutes and we are going to check the answers, okay? Two minutes para checar las respuestas. In finish. You finish. Very well. Finish. Very well. No sé qué significa divide, divide or divide. Teacher. Divide. Dividir. Divide. Mm -hmm. Divide. Mm -hmm. Divide is separate, separate. I am going to, I am going to divide the medicine from one place to another. So I separate it, I separate it. Okay, let's check the answers. What do you have in number two, Carmen? In, num in number two, how is he driving the groups? Sorry, how is he dividing the groups? Okay, how is he dividing the groups? He yes. is dividing the groups in, in two, okay? How is he dividing, dividing the groups? How, oh, sorry. How is he dividing the groups? How is he dividing the groups? He is dividing the groups in two. In two, that's a possible answer, yes. Uh -huh.
Okay, let's see number three. Number three, who has number three that could help me? Who has number three? I. Okay, Alexis. When? Mm -hmm. Is she? Uh, handy. They check. When is she handing the checks? Very good. When is she handing the checks? She is handing the checks. Handy. Handing the checks next handy. weekend. Handing the check. When is she handing the check? When is she handing the checks? She is handing yeah. the checks next Wednesday. Okay. Next Saturday, next week, next Monday. Handing, okay. handing, entregar. Handing, handing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Alexis. That was a great job. Let's go with number four. Angela de Jesus. Which factory is boss? This this month. Which factory? This month? Which factory? Is boss? Is your boss? Is your boss? This this month. Okay. Very good. Repeat. Which factory is your which, boss visiting this month? Which factory is your boss visiting this month? Excellent. Very good. Okay. And number five, who has number five? Volunteers? Hi. Okay, go ahead. Is the new secretary working? Why? Uh -huh. Why? Why is the new secretary working? The next Saturday. Very good. Why is the new secretary working next Saturday? Quitémosle todos, por favor, este da aquí. Este da. Quitémoselo, borrémoselo. Porque no nos gusta. Sí, quitémoselo. Guacala. El segundo. Ajá, este, quitémoselo. Sí, mira. Este, este no va. Guacala, no va. Ok. Why is the new secretary working next Saturday? Okay, very good. Now, we have the answers. Does everyone have the same answers or do you have a question? Let me know. Tienen todas las mismas preguntas? Las mismas respuestas? Yes. Sí? Yes. Okay. yes Tienen teacher. alguna teacher. pregunta? Yes, teacher. Okay, any questions? Yes, yes I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, in number four, which factory is your boss? Uh, the verb is is uh, because it's a singular person. Yes. Yes, your boss is one person. If not, it will say which factory are your bosses? visiting this month. Lo que pasa es que lo que me confundió fue el normalmente yo siempre va a ser en y con el verbo to be con is ah. uh -huh. eh, sin embargo cuando es you es con are uh -huh. es que ahí fue cuando me confundió. No, no es cuando es sea yo. Ok. Listen, listen, listen. Ese your, exacto, Sandra. Ese your no es tú. Exacto. Recordémonos cuando vimos eh, possessive pronouns, Gabriel. When we saw possessive pronouns, right, in the class, we remember that there are some possessives that belong to someone. But when we say you, right, is we're talking about you as a person. But when we say your boss, who is your boss? Gabriel, who is your boss? My boss is Rafael Arce. Okay, 
And is he, you, he, we, they? What is the subject? He. He, right? Okay. So that's why we use third person singular, right? That's why we use third person singular in that case. Now, let me show you something that I think we forgot. Déjeme ver, por aquí lo tenía. Vamos a ver. Give me a moment. Okay. Now, I am going to delete this, this, um, this information, okay? And I'm, I am going to share something else with you. I want you to remember this, okay? How to use possessive adjectives and possessive nouns, right? But this part, possessive adjectives. When I have I, it's mine. You, your. He, his, she, her. It, it's, we, our, they, there, right? My pen. Your pen, his pen, tercera persona, his pen, right? So we can say, for example, we can have different people here. Let's do here. Let me explain this to you, okay? Let's do it one more time. Okay, we have here, this is David, this is Mary, okay? We have David and Mary. This is my pen, my pen. This is her pen. This is Mary's pen, right? And this is his pen, right? And then we have you, this is your pen. Right? Pero cuando estamos hablando, aunque sean los posesivos adjetivos que estamos utilizando acá, eso solo nos dice a quién le pertenece algo, pero no nos dice, en este caso, el subject. ¿Cuál es el subject? Aunque yo diga, my pen es singular. My pen, ¿cuál subject pronoun sería, Gabriel? Which subject pronoun would this be? My pen. ¿Sería I? I. Are you sure? My pen, my pen is I. Okay, my está relacionado con I, es correcto, es correcto. Pero si usted ve este objeto, este objeto sería I, you, we, no, they, no, it, 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 exacto. It. Aunque diga my pen is yellow, okay, siempre my pen va a ser un sujeto it. Okay, no va a ser eh, I, aunque lleve el posesivo it's, adjetivo my, porque el posesivo, porque es cosa. exactly, porque el posesivo solo dice a quién le pertenece esa cosa o esa persona o esa situación, ¿ok? Ok. Entonces, ¿a quién le pertenece su jefe? Your boss, le pertenece a usted, pero siempre your boss puede ser he or she. Por eso utilizamos el third person singular is. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende? Ok, teacher. Yes, ¿Sí? yes. Yes, ok. ¿Estás seguro? Porque la pregunta no es sobre you, tú, you, Gabriel. La pregunta es sobre tu boss, la third person. Es uh -huh. otra persona, exacto. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a continuar aquí with the next activity. Okay, we have this. We're going to do questions here, okay? Now we're going to do five questions. Now you have experience making questions. Okay, ya usted ya tienen experiencia haciendo preguntas. And in here, Celia, can you read this instruction, please? Think of some future events of your classmate, classmate, classmates, classmate. Write five questions to ask your classmate about those events. Use where question. 
Use WH questions. Very good. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to think about future events or future activities that a person can do in their workplace. For example, right, we are going to say, we are going to invent questions, okay? I am going to put here, uh, what are you doing next Friday? That is going to be my first question. What are you doing next Friday, Gabriel? I, I, next Friday, I have class. I am. I am having class, in English class. I am having an English class. Okay, I am having an English class. Look what we're going to do. Now, I have the first answer that Gabriel is giving me. What are you doing next Friday? Esa va a ser la primera que va a preguntar. Pueden cambiarle aquí el tiempo, no hay problema. I am having an English class next Friday. Next Friday. Oh, Jesus Christ. Give me one moment. Next Friday. Very nice. That's the answer. Now I want to make another question. Okay. Who are you studying with? Who are you studying? Oh, uh, let's see. Who are you studying English with? Gabriel? Who are you studying English with? I study English with. I'm starting with uh, my, my sister. Okay, very good. I am studying English with my sister. Very good. I am studying English with my sister. Vean cómo vamos a llevar el flujo de las preguntas y las respuestas. I am studying English with my sister. Okay. Where are you studying English with your sister? Where are you studying English with your sister? Gabriel? Uh, give me one moment. I I study English with my sister in in my house. Okay, very good. I am studying English with my sister in my house. Excellent job. I am studying English with my sister in my house. Last question. Why are you studying English? Why are you studying English? I'm studying English uh, for more or for two Because I am studying English because. Okay. Because? Because for more opportunities. Because I, okay, I want more opportunities, okay? I want more opportunities. Okay. okay, because I want more opportunities. Very good, look, we just had a conversation. Okay, tuvimos una conversación. Él me respondió la primera, la pregunta general. What are you doing? What are you doing next week? What are you doing next month? What are you doing next weekend? What are you doing next Monday? What are you doing tomorrow? Esas son preguntas que vamos a hacer para el futuro, future events. Él ya me contestó, I'm having an English class next Friday. ¿Cuál es el evento de él? An English class. 
Eso es lo que va a hacer. He is having an English class. Y yo le pregunté más información. Porque para eso me sirven las WH questions. To get more information. Okay. This example is what you are going to do with another classmate. Eso es lo que van a hacer con otro compañero en estos momentos. ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes teacher. Okay. La primera pregunta que van a hacer para que empiecen ustedes a sacar más información de los demás es esta. What are you doing? Y ustedes le cambian aquí el tiempo que ustedes le quieran poner. Ok. Luego pueden utilizar who, where, when, why, and the others, which, right, and so on. Ok. Do you have a question right now? No, teacher. Ok. Please take a screenshot so you have your example. Tomen una captura de pantalla para que lo tengan como ejemplo a seguir para lo que van a trabajar en estos momentos, por favor. Okay. Now we are going to work in groups, right? We're going to work in pairs, actually. Van a trabajar con un compañero solamente. Voy a quitar la pantalla. ¿Ya puedo quitar la pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, very well then. Now, let's go ahead and work right now in groups of two. En grupos de dos, solamente va a haber un grupo de tres. Okay? And you are going to ask one person only. If I am working with Concepcion, I am going to ask Concepcion, and Concepcion is going to ask me. Okay? Ella me pregunta y yo le pregunto también. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's get to work right now then. We're going to have around 10 minutes to complete this activity. Write the questions and write the answers. Escriban las preguntas y escriban las respuestas. Okay. Si tienen preguntas directamente, hay una opción para que me digan, mire, tengo una pregunta y yo llego rápido donde están ustedes. Okay. Let's start. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Let's start. Yes, Alexis. Tengo la pantalla otra vez que no la pude copiar. <coughs> ya la quité y ya se borró. Ah, va. Thank you. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien que se la pase a él, por favor? Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Choose your groups. Choose your groups. Definitivamente ya no se aguantaba. Sí. Vaya, entonces, si quieren, le pregunto entonces, a Pedrina y de ahí nos vamos rotando. Ok, ok, ok. Pedrina, ¿Eh? voy a compartirle la pantalla. Okay. Bye. Voy a buscarlo ahorita. Yo anoté la primera. Pedrina, what are you doing the next weekend? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. <laughs> I am, I am, uh, uh, oh, se me quedó trabajo esto. I am, um, puede ser cualquier evento, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ah, va. I am a working, I am uh, working, I am working, uh, Uh, La ven. Yes. I am working uh, today. Okay. Remember, it's an activity in the future. It's an activity in the future, Pedrina. Uh, mm -hmm. 
la que acaba de decir usted está perfecta, pero para actividades que están pasando en el momento que estamos hablando. Ah, ah, sí, 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 tiene razón. Entonces sería I am working on next today. Next day next or day. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Next ah, day or tomorrow. Bro. Tomorrow. Teacher, no le tendría que poner I am working eh, on Saturday. Or Sunday. Or Sunday, ¿eh? Or Porque Sunday. como ya le pregunté next weekend. Mm -hmm. mm. She can say that too. Mm -hmm. I am Exacto. working on the project next weekend. I am working on a report next Saturday. To be more specific. Yes. También. Mm -hmm. Escríbelo, Pedrina. Sí. I am... Okay, do you have more questions? Okay. ¿Tiene alguna no. pregunta? No? No, teacher. La veo un ratito entonces. Voy a otro grupo. Okay, See you in so, a moment. Si you. tienen pregunta, me escriben rapidito. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Síganme preguntando. A ver si contesto. <laughs> Vaya. Um, O si quieren, vamos contestando las tres al mismo tiempo para, para así de un solo. No va a ser que no nos alcance el tiempo. Ah, bueno, vaya. Oh, Asaya, Asaya, yo, ¿el tuyo? La mía, la mía es I am go on vacation oh. to my town. Ok. On vacation. Yo me iré de vacaciones. <risa> I am go go on Vacation to my town, eh, oh, a mi pueblo. My, Yo me iré oh. de vacaciones a mi pueblo. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ok. Uh, ok. El mío sería, I am going... I am going to bridal shower on on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. Okay. I am going to vacation. Ahora la otra. Okay. La otra sería... No la anoté, no, sorry. Uh, I am go, el, la mía. I am going in the restaurant y with my family. Eh, exactly. En mm -hmm. la tercera Chico. sería... ¿Cuál? Claro. Mm -hmm. En la tercera sería... Bueno. ¿Dónde? Ok. Where are you eating? Where are you? Good job, good job. Where are you eating? Good job. Me va a seguir preguntando y yo le voy a seguir preguntando. Depende de lo que yo le haya dicho la, la, en la primera pregunta. Por ejemplo, usted me dijo, I am working part-time en tu res. Eh, where are you working? Yo le pregunto ahora. Eh, where are you working? Mm -hmm. With? With? Mm, no. Where are you working? Nada más. Where are you working? Okay, where are you working? Uh, I 
Ahí sería dos de trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. Okay. Eh, <laughs> tortillería, teacher, en inglés. <laughs> oh. Fíjese que esa palabra yo creo que quedaría igual. Dependiendo. Tortillería, I think it's only the, like, the pronunciation that changes. It would be like tortilla shop. Una venta de tortillas. Yes, tortilla shop. Ah, entonces, in the tortilla shop, we mom. Tortilla shop. Tortilla, tortilla shop. shop. With my mom. In the tortilla shop with my mom. Mm -hmm. Puede ser tortillas. <laughs> Quiero que le enseñe la teacher. <laughs> no, yo puedo. Ah, puede sí. In the past, in the past, I work in a tortilla shop with my mom too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Really? <laughs> yes, and in a pupusería too. Ah. <laughs> Yo a retarla iba que me echáramos las pupusas. <risa> okay. Yes. Okay, I will go to another group. See you in a moment, okay? Okay. ¿Con cuál? Podemos hacer. Eh, ya con el Podemos hacerlo con el Gwen. Oh, ah, está bien. Yeah. When, when you working when, when are you working the report? Para que digamos que en qué en qué tiempo lo lo vamos a hacer. Machu. Do you have any questions? Oh. Yes, si puede, si tenemos que hacer las cinco preguntas. Mentira, usted. <laughs> El solito cuando estoy ya. <laughs> My mom will say. Ni vergüenza le da. <laughs> <laughs> No, teacher, este, una pregunta. ¿Ah? Responsabilidad se pronuncia responsibility o responsibility. Respons responsibility. Respond, res. Respond, responsibility. Ok, responsibility. Ok. Teacher, en total son, son cinco, ¿verdad? Por lo no, menos cinco. Diez. Cinco usted y cinco él. No, sí, le hemos nosotros... trabajado juntos. Ya no, ya no me ajá. caben en el libro. La... Ay, ¿qué ala? Ya no caben, teacher. Y nosotros la vamos respondiendo así juntos, de verdad. Y sí, cabal. Solo por eso va a pasar ahorita ustedes. Vamos. <risa> no, no hemos terminado la última. No hemos terminado la última, pero okay, en okay. Dos, diez segundos. Ok. Sí, una mom. Eh, yes. <risa> I will spend it while my son. Okay. Spending. Spending. Spending time. Hello, teacher. Yes. Yes, we finish. You finish? Yes. With how many questions did you make? One, two, three, four. Four, four okay. for me and four for America. Oh, four you made eight, eight questions. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I was checking and everyone is doing only four or five. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. And the, and the out answer. And the answers. Okay, very nice. So we're going to start right now. You are going to be first. Okay. okay. You're okay. going to you're going to do like a conversation. Okay. Escojan okay. Quién, quién va a preguntar y quién va a responder con las preguntas que ustedes tengan. You have 10 seconds to decide. I can I can I can make the question. Okay, and Amilcar will answer. Okay, okay. very good. Ustedes van a comenzar. Vámonos ya. Okay.
Okay, so we are going to start right now. We're going to listen to Carmen and Amilcar, and then we're going to listen to Ricardo and Maria Concepcion. Okay, let's okay. start. Um, hi, Amilcar, what are you doing tomorrow? I am, I am spending one my, my song. Ah, okay, who are you spending time with? Uh, I am a student. I am, perdón, the, I am, I am spending time with. No importa, léalas, Ricardo. Así como las tiene, okay? But, sí. I am, I am spending why my son. Okay. I am spending time with my son. With my son. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Okay. Where are you spending time with your son? Uh, I am spending uh, with my son in, in the park. Okay, why are you spending time with your son? I am spending because uh, I am Finish it. I no not terminé de anotar. Okay. Can be, uh, I am spending time with my son because I love to be with him. Yes, because I love to be with him. Oh, yes, very good. Let me put it here. I am spending time with my son because, Amilcar, because I love to be with him. Because? I love, I love because. to be with him. Because I love to be with him. To be with okay, him. very good. Spending time, guys. Spending time is another phrase that means pasar el momento con alguien. On Sundays, I'm spending time with my husband. Okay. On Sunday, I'm spending time with my family. Okay. So we spend time with the people we love, right? So write it down. That's a very important phrase. Let's see, go with, thank you, Carmen, and thank you, Emilcar. Ricardo and Concepcion. What are you doing next week? I'm writing sales report on the next week. What are you working the report on the white? I'm working the report with my boss. Where are you working with your boss? I'm working in my office with my boss. Why are you working to report? I work in the report because it's my responsibility. Very good, because it's my responsibility. Where are you working uh, the report? I'm, I'm working the report at 10 a.m. Okay, but future, at 10 a.m. in the future. In the in, next week. Okay, I, 10 a.m. next week. Because if we give a schedule, it's simple present. Si damos un tiempo específico, ya usamos simple present. Okay, very good. Very good, thank you so much. Now I want one other pair of volunteers. Volunteers who wants to practice their English. I Nobody? Okay, Alexis. Who was with you, Alexis? Celia. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, 
what uh, are you doing next week? I am having to go at bank. Um, how are you going to at bank with? I am going to at bank with my father. Which are you going to at bank meet with? I am remitting cash. Uh, but, uh, thank you. Okay, very good, very good. Now I needed to practice the pronunciation of the questions, okay? Uh, can you repeat the question with who, Alexis? Who? who? Yes, who? repeat the question. Who are you uh, going to a bank uh, with? Okay. Who are you going to the bank with? Very good. Well, Who are you going to the bank to the bank with? With. Con e. No. To the bank with. With. Mm -hmm. And Celia, read the answer. Okay. I am going at bank. With I am my going phone. to the bank. To the bank, okay. Mm -hmm. With my um, father, okay. To the bank. The, the preposition to means position, okay. I am here. I am here. I am going to move to another place okay so i go from here to another place i move the preposition to me dice que hay un movimiento de un lugar hacia otro uh, i am going to the school next monday okay so i am in my home i am in my house and i i am going to the school so i move to another place okay siempre decimos okay. cuando vamos a utilizar going Going to, going to a place, going to the beach, going to the restaurant, going to the mall, right? O sea que cuando va relacionado con el going, el to va a ser una preposición de movimiento. Exactly. Okay, exactly. eso, okay. Thank Very you. good, you're welcome. Now, any other volunteers or should we continue with the next activity? Next activity? I want pronunciation from you, pronunciation. And in this pronunciation, we just have a conversation that we're going to practice. This conversation is from the book. And I would like to listen to Angie and Emerson. Okay, Angie, you are going to be Beth. Emerson, you're going to be Ever. But first, first, listen to me, okay? Listen to me. Pay attention to the words and the pronunciation we are going to do. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and I, I, uh, I also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They helped a lot. Okay. Now, we are going to work right now right, with this pronunciation, Emerson and Angie. Let's start. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Emerson. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. 
what are coincidences and also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who complete the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am starting on my own to know. I am reading novels to have various results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Thank you, Emerson. Very good. Thank Excellent you, job. Very good. Very good pronunciation. I need to listen to uh, Concepcion. You're going to be Ever. Asalia, you're going to be Beth. Hi, Beth. Long time. No, no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How, how, about, how about you? That sounds great. Great. But coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completes the course is taking a training in English these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Right. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent job. Now we'd like to listen to, uh, let's see, to other people before we continue with the next activity. Let's listen to Pedrina and let's listen to Luis Armando. Luis Armando, are you there? Okay. Okay. So Luis Armando, you are ever. Pedrina, you are Beth. Let's practice. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing? Thanks, die. I am okay. Well, I working on a new project and also I taking a course they day on about you. That sounds great. What a coincidence. And I'm taking an English course. English is essential and they work blessing. They die. Uh, I don't know. Uh, College is how complex the course is taking training day this day. You are right. I am a student. Oh my own. You know I am really novel to have better result. Great. Well, I do listening exercise. They help a lot. They help a lot. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, things that we need to do before we move to the next activity. Antes que sigamos con la actividad siguiente. Things that we need to remember. This verb is pronounced doing. Doing. Sigo escuchando personas que están diciendo doing. No. Si dicen doing, nadie les va a entender. Ok. Vamos a decir doing. El verbo se dice do. Right? In simple present is do. In present progressive, doing. Doing. Okay, doing. It's not doing. Right? It's not doing. It's doing. Now, let's remember, right, that we need to practice our pronunciation every day, not only in the class, but also outside. 
¿ok? No solamente en la clase, hay que practicar también afuera con eh, la pronunciación que vamos trabajando todos los días. Phrases that we didn't know. Long time no see. Long time no see significa, uff, tenía tiempo de no verte. Right? Long time no see. Hi Beth, long time no see. Esa es una frase que significa días de no verte, tiempo sin verte. Right? Tiempo sin verte. Long time no see. Right? That's how we, you would interpret that word. And then this one, colleague. 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 Colega. Colleague. 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 Very good. Now, let's continue with the next activity. Right? We have this conversation. Ya la leímos, todo bien. We have three questions. Number one, Asalia, read the first question. Okay. Um, what are sometimes Ever and Beth are doing these days? Okay, what are some things Ever and Beth are doing these days? Repeat. What are some time Ever and Beth are doing this day? Okay. Some things. Something. Okay, very good. Number two, Ricardo Gabriel. What things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? Okay, very good. What things are the same? Common with, in common with means the same with you. Okay, and number three, Carmen, can you please read the question? Based on your life, what are you doing this day? Very good. Based on your life, what are you doing these days? Right, we have three questions right now. I need you to please answer the questions. Question number one and number two are in your book. Okay, they are in your book. Question number three is not in your book. You are going to add that question. Esta dos ya está en el libro. Esta la vamos a agregar nosotros y vamos a responder. What are we doing these days? For example, I am teaching English. I am taking um, other programs. I, I am learning another language. What are you doing these days? ¿Qué están haciendo? ¿Qué, qué actividades están realizando estos días? Okay. Now, let's do this right now. Did you copy the, the questions? No, well, question number three. Solo la tres tienen que copiar. Based on your life, what are you doing these days? La una y la dos no tienen que copiar. Okay. Creo que ya la copiaron. Right. Now, let's go ahead and answer these questions. We're going to do that right now individually. Ahí dice in pairs, pero lo vamos a hacer individual y lo vamos a compartir acá rapidito. Ok. Based on the conversation. Based on the conversation. Leamos la conversación. Bueno, ya la leímos tres veces. Ya la leímos tres veces. Y veamos cómo podríamos responder a esas tres preguntitas. ¿Qué página es, teacher? It's page 30 something. Give me a moment. Ya le digo. 37. 37. Thank you. ¿Qué haría yo sin ustedes y sus páginas? 37. I always forget to put the, the pages. Sorry. Tell me when you finish. Tell me if you have questions. También si tienen preguntas, díganme. Las primeras dos preguntas, teacher, ¿dónde es que están? They are in the same page. P 
page 37 in the bottom. Está en, el, en la misma página. En la page 37. Pero están al final, al final. It says their pair work. Dice number three, pair work. Mm -hmm. Sería esta, right? Ah, la, la última no está aquí, ¿verdad? No. La última me la acabo de inventar yo. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Carmen. We're going to check that in a moment. Well, finished, so we can check. Are you master me now? Okay, I think we could check the answers. What are some things Ever and Beth are doing these days, Carmen? They are taking an English course. They are taking an English course, okay? That is one thing, very good. They are taking an English course. What is another thing that they are doing? They are doing different activities to study, studying English course. To study English, very good. They are doing different activities to study English or, Carmen, to improve their English. Let me put it here on the chat, okay? Yes, to, or improve their uh -huh. English. To improve. English. Ay, exactly, Carmen. Very good. Right. Para mejorar. Right. To study English or to improve English. What things do you have in common with the people in, con in the conversation? Let's see. Who else has finished? ¿Quién term ha terminado aparte de Carmen? ¿Quién ya terminó aparte de Carmen? ¿Quién ya terminó aparte de Carmen? Teacher. Ok, thank you Alexis. Creo, creo que está bien, pero no sé. Ok, no se preocupe, Bye. dígale que aquí estamos para equivocarnos. Vaya. 
Eh, la primera, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. What can I some something ever ever and did are doing eh, these days? This this day. Uh, they are working a new project taking English. They are working on a new project, exactly, and they are taking English. Very good. Excellent job, uh, Alexis. Question, question two. Mm -hmm. uh, what uh, thing do you have in common with they? They operate in the converse, conversation. With the people in the conversation. Uh -huh. With the people in the, conversa in the conversation. I am also thanking an English course this day. Very good. I am also taking an English course these days. Repeat. I am also taking an English course these days. I am also... Taking taking an English course this day. Course this day. Very well. Excellent. Excellent. Now, who else finished that can help me with number three? Thank you, Alexis and Carmen, for such a great job. Celia, Anna, Asalia. Who else finished? Teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, bueno, ya te terminó la compañera, pues no. Mm -hmm. Question two. My hours, um, they have, como decir, ellos tienen el curso de inglés, no sé, sería, ajá. They are. Mm -hmm. They are, solo que ahí tenía, eh, no sé si puede el have o having, porque como el verbo ya está, el tacking. Con ING. ¿Qué quiere poner? Ellos tienen la clase de inglés o el curso de inglés. They are having an English class. Ok. Uh -huh. Repeat. They have an they, English class. Uh -huh. They are having an They English class. They are having. Ok. Ok. Ahí es. Ellos están teniendo un curso de inglés. Si usted quiere decir okay. que ellos están tomando el curso de inglés también, puede utilizar taking. They are taking an English course. They are taking, ah, okay. Hmm? okay. Exactly. Very good, Thank Celia. You. Very good. You're welcome. Now, based on your life, what are you doing these days, Sandra? Puedo... Uh -huh. ¿Puedo qué? No, yo en ese puesto I am studying English. In which one? Number three? Three. Okay, very good. I am studying English. Very good, Asalia. Thank you so much. That is correct. Very good. What else do you have, Sandra? I am taking English course and working. Okay, I am taking an English course and working, working very hard. Very good, Sandrita. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, we have 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we're going to do another exercise, okay? Let's do it. With this exercise, right, uh, can you please read this instruction, Carmen, for me? Okay. <clears throat> the instruction. Yes, please. A friend is going to a rock festival on Saturday. You want to know something about it. Complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning to the first sentence using the word in brackets. Very good. So I want you to look what we're going to do right now, okay? We have the example. In the example says, I want to know when the festival starts. Esta es una pregunta indirecta, okay? 
pero nosotros no estamos practicando preguntas indirectas, entonces lo estamos practicando WH questions, ¿ok? Estamos practicando WH questions. Como estamos practicando WH questions, vamos a utilizar la palabra que nos está dando acá el ejercicio, que es when, para crear nuestra pregunta. Y vamos a utilizar ya sea simple present o present progressive, dependiendo cómo esté la oración acá. Esta es nuestra guía para crear, para, para crear la siguiente pregunta. Empezamos. I want to know when the festival starts. Oh, toda la pregunta está en simple present. Toda la, toda la, la oración está en simple present. Y me está diciendo, when. Quiero hacer una pregunta que diga lo mismo que lo anterior, pero con un WH. When does the festival start? ¿Cuándo empieza el festival? Y en la primera, quiero saber cuándo empieza el festival. ¿Significa lo mismo? Sí, tiene un similar meaning. Similar meaning. Right? And we use, como esto está en present, en simple present, nuestra pregunta la hacemos en simple present también. ¿Ok? When does the festival start? When does the festival start? Hagamos la segunda. Pongamos todos atención, por favor. We have number one. I want to know where the festival is. I want to know where the festival is. We are going to use the word where. ¿Cuál sería una pregunta que podemos crear que tenga el mismo significado? Where is the festival? Where is the festival? Very good. Very good. Where... Is the festival. Esa sería nuestra primera respuesta. Where is the festival? The festival is in the downtown. Okay. Where is the festival? Very good. Let's go ahead and do number two. Así son les quedan las otras tres a ustedes. I want to know which bands are playing. Primero, I need to use which and What is the tense that we're using here? Are we using simple present, the verb to be, present progressive? What are we using? Present progressive, continuous. Present continuous or present progressive. Very good. And we're going to work, we're going to use the word which, okay? Which. Now, how can we make this sentence here? Which are playing. Which are playing. Which Are playing. Playing. Which bands? Which bands are playing? Are which playing. bands are playing? Recuerden que cuando tenemos which, en, siempre vamos a pegar which restaurant, which band, which school, right? An option. Which, exactly, it's an option. Which bands are playing? Mira qué bonito. Yay, we did two. Hicimos dos, right? Where is the festival? Which bands are playing? Ahora hagamos las otras tres. Okay, look at the sentences. I will help you. This is simple present. This is present progressive. This is simple present. Okay, ya les ayude. Vamos a ver qué podemos crear. Of course, take a screenshot or take notes para que tengan el ejemplo de las preguntas. Did you finish? Good. 
Tratemos de hacer por lo menos una o dos. And while you work, I will pull the attendance really quick. Ana Gabriela. Present. Angie. Ángela de Jesús. Presente, teacher. Azalea Melanie. Present. Uh, sí. Carmen Lisset. Present. Celia Jasmine. Present. Daniela Milker. Emerson Javier. Present. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan José Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present teacher. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Pedrina, Pedrina Eliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Ricard, eh, Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. Present teacher. Roxana Yanira Mengíbar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Y Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Okay, now, do you have the answers? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very well. Okay, only Carmen? ¿Los demás ya terminamos? No, teacher. Aún no. Mm. Bueno, por lo menos yo no. Ok. Angie says no. Carmen says yes. Finish, teacher. Very good, Concepción. Who else finished? Ok, it is 10 o'clock, ok, ya son las 10. Vamos a revisarlos el lunes, porque todavía tenemos dos ejercicios pendientes, chicos, que no, es, no logramos hacer, ok. And these are for simple present and present progressive. Son una combinación de ambos, así que tenemos que practicarlos, ok. Los vamos a practicar el lunes. Vamos a ver las respuestas de esto, de las tres preguntas que tenemos el lunes también, ok. Always using simple present, present progressive, WH questions. Lo vamos a hacer rapidito el lunes en los primeros 15 minutos y luego conseguimos con la unidad 4. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay. Okay, Very, teacher. Well. Very well. So we are going to finish here. Um, right? I will hello. see you guys. Salud. Hello. Salud, que le vaya bien. So I will see you, I will see you guys on Monday at 8 p.m. Right. Recuérdense que la asistencia es tomada no solo porque vienen a clases, sino que es tomada por los minutos que aparecen, aparecen conectados. Eh, por favor, traten de conectarse a las 8 de la noche para que así no les reste en el porcentaje de la asistencia, ya que se necesita el 80% de asistencia. ¿Ok? Es muy importante eso también. Bueno, esta semana no hay cuidado. ¿Cómo no? Yes, teacher. Ay, a ver. Ok, teacher. Sí. Good, evening. Good evening. Have a beautiful have night. Have a beautiful, wonderful weekend. You too. Good you too. Have a beautiful night, weekend teacher. with your family. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye, bye. everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Se queda Gabriela y si no se queda Gabriela también se puede quedar alguien más. Si alguien más tiene dudas. Yo me quedo, teacher. Ah, se queda. Ah, pues se queda Gabriela. Ya no se puede quedar nadie más. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Gaby. Bye. Bye. No, bye. Asalia, bye. Angie. <laughs> okay, Gabriela, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Ah, 
Ay, bien, teacher. Aquí, con un par de... Esperando mi, mi sesión <ríe> privada. <ríe> Very nice. Tell me. Vaya, eh, teacher, me, eh, a mí lo que más me cuesta, me confunde un poco, es el tema de... de de esto todavía, del, sim, del simple present, del present progressive, y también no sé cómo, me confundo, no sé cuándo usar el, el, el verbo to be también. Entonces, okay. vale, por ejemplo, ahorita las, estos últimos ejercicios, no sé si están bien. ¿Cómo le puse el ejercicio? Veamos. Vale. En, el, en el tercero le puse how much is ticket cost. Ok, how much is ticket cost. Que eso está en simple present. Esta uh -huh. pregunta está en simple present. I want to know how much tickets cost. Uh -huh. Primero, en el simple present vamos a utilizar como auxiliar el do y el das. Ok. Ok. Entonces, Entonces no. pero quiero, quiero terminar de entender cuándo es simple present y cuándo es present pro progressive. Porque también ahí es donde yo no, no logro cómo entender. Entonces, es donde me confundo, vea. Vaya, vale. el, el simple present lo vamos a utilizar cuando nosotros queremos hablar acerca de rutinas que estamos haciendo, rutinas uh -huh. que tenemos todos los días, hábitos que tenemos nosotros, y por eso utilizamos eh, siempre adverse of frequency, que utilizamos uh -huh. always, often, usually, porque esos adverbios de frecuencia nos dicen que esa actividad es repetitiva. No nos dice, uh -huh. Cada uno de ellos nos dice cuán repetitiva va a ser. Uh -huh. Pero si nos dice, ah, esto tú lo repites, tú lo haces, entonces es simple present. Entonces uh -huh. para eso vamos a utilizar el simple present. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I, I, cook, I cook lasaña every Monday. I cook uh -huh. lasaña every Monday. Si yo digo, I cook lasaña every Monday, una de las, de las como tips que podemos decir que tenemos es que voy a decir every Monday, ah, está utilizando eh, un adverbio de frecuencia, every. Uh -huh. Entonces, every me está diciendo que lo hace cada lunes. Es un uh -huh. hábito, es uh -huh. una rutina. Entonces, uh -huh. ahí utilizo el simple present. En cambio, el presente continuo o presente progresivo, que es el mismo, el presente eh, progresivo lo voy a utilizar el primero, para actividades que están pasando en el momento que usted está hablando, en el momento que usted está escribiendo, en el momento, por ejemplo, ahorita yo, puede, yo podría decir, I am teaching simple present to Ana Gabriela. Uh -huh. I am teaching in simple present to Ana Gabriela. Porque eso es lo que está pasando. I am speaking English. Uh -huh. right. Ana Gabriela is listening to me. Son actividades que están pasando en el momento. Ese es un uso. El okay. siguiente uso del presente continuo es cuando lo usamos para actividades como las que estábamos viendo en la pregunta anterior, para actividades en el futuro. Uh -huh. Pero tienen que ser actividades que ya están programadas, que ya uh -huh. están, y se dice, ah, eh, le llamamos arrangements or future plans. De, ejemplo, deme un segundito, Tiche, deme sí. un segundito. Dale, pasa. Perdón. Vaya. Por ejemplo, que yo diga, I am, uh, I am, I am visiting my grandmother next Saturday. I uh -huh. am visiting. Estoy usando presente progresivo, pero lo estoy utilizando para una actividad que yo he planificado que voy a realizar el próximo sábado, que sería en el futuro. Uh -huh. Entonces, ok. Esos son como la, la, los usos que se le deben de dar al simple present y al present progressive. Palabras que puede identificar, que le van a ayudar a usted como a, a ver el contexto. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. si es para una actividad que está pasando at the moment of speaking, para present progressive va a ver right now, uh -huh. now, uh -huh. at this moment, in the present. Right? Si es una actividad en el futuro, Podríamos decir next Sunday, next, tomorrow, next week. next week, in two hours. Uh -huh. okay. Esos son en el futuro. Entonces ahí es donde lo vamos a usar. Y el verbo to be. Uh 
Ajá, eso era la otra película. El verbo to be lo vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, para decir locaciones o dónde estamos. I am, I am in the school. El verbo to be no es un verbo de acción. Okay. El solito, cuando decimos I am, you are, she is, y solamente así es un verbo que solamente nos habla de states, feelings, right? It mm -hmm. talks about also uh, emotions. When you say, ah, I'm sleepy. Mm -hmm. I am sleepy. You are sleepy. She is sleepy. Mm -hmm. right? Entonces vamos para decir eh, manners. Para eso vamos a utilizar el verbo to be, el solito. Por ejemplo, en el, en el ejercicio que teníamos, el primero dice, where is the festival? Es una locación. Uh -huh, the festival uh -huh. is in the city. Uh -huh. The festival is in the city. Entonces, nos dice, lo vamos a utilizar para lugares. I am in the hospital. I am in the school. The festival is in the city. The hospital is, is far away. Está muy lejos. It's far uh -huh. away. También lo podemos utilizar para decir nuestras profesiones. I am a teacher, I am a nurse, I am a doctor, I am an engineer. Lo vamos a utilizar también para eso. She is an engineer. They are doctors. Right? Para eso también lo vamos a utilizar. Y para las expresiones. I am happy, I am sad, I am not happy, I am angry. Para, para eso es que vamos a utilizar cada uno de, los, de estos tres tiempos que estamos viendo por el momento. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Le queda un poquitito más claro? Sí, o sea, obviamente tengo que practicar mucho más, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> Vaya, este, sí, ese era como lo, 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 lo que me, 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 me está acusando un poco. No sé, aquí en el caso de los tres ejercicios que tenemos, eh, el, así como lo puse, me dijo que estaba mal, ¿verdad? How much is ticket cost? Sí, porque eh, no estamos utilizando en esa, en esa oh, pregunta. I want to know how much tickets cost. This is simple present. Uh -huh. Entonces, usted cuando me utiliza el present, permítame, voy a hacer algo. Cuando usted me utiliza eh, is, no está aquí el verbo to be en ningún lado. En ninguna parte de esta, de esta pregunta, de esta pregunta indirecta, está el verbo to be. Vamos a utilizar el simple present. Entonces, ¿cómo sería el simple present? How much? Ticket cost. Ticket cost. Uh -huh. Very good. ¿Y cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos para preguntas en simple present? Does. Ok, does. Does is for she, he, and it. And we have tickets. Tickets is they. Entonces le pondríamos, how much do tickets cost? Do ticket cost. How, much? how much do tickets cost? Oh, okay. That would be the answer. ¿Por qué? Ya estamos diciendo acá, tickets es plural, entonces es they. Right? Mm -hmm. They. Y decimos, how much do tickets cost? They cost $25. Para, para she, he, it. It. Voy a ocupar dos. Das, exactly. Y para, y para I, you, we and they, we and they, voy a utilizar do. do. Exacto. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya. Y la segunda, o sea, la cuarta, perdón. Yo le puse How getting there. How getting there. Ok. How getting there. Estoy olvidando el sujeto y el complemento de, del presente progresivo. Como es presente progresivo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el, el, el sujeto que estamos olvidando? Says, I want to know how you're getting there. Y usted solamente está usando 
How? Get in there. Uh -huh. How get in there. Pero ahí me deja sin complementarme el presente progresivo que ya está en la oración. Right? Le falta eso y le, le falta, falta uh -huh. un sujeto. Le sí, faltan dos eh, cosas. Uh -huh. Me faltaría el, el do. No, porque es presente progresivo. Y en presente progresivo no utilizamos do and does. En presente progresivo utilizamos el is. El is. Is, uh -huh. are, am. Um. Entonces ahí sería how is. Utilizamos is, are y am. Um. Siempre recordémonos que is es para she, he, and it. Are, you, we, they. Am, I, claro. am. El, el, el is es para she. She, he, it. She, he, it. Siempre. Ok. Ahí utilizamos is. Exactly. Y para you, we y they, they utilizamos are. are, ¿verdad? You, we, they. Utilizamos are. Y para I utilizamos el am. Exactly. Ok. Este es presente progresivo. Uh -huh. Y para, y el do, el dos y el do es para simple present, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ok. Entonces ahí me estaría entonces ahí sería how, how are getting there? How are you getting there? How are you? How, how are you getting there? How are you getting, getting there? there? Exactly. Okay. Y el último um, eh, yo igual, o sea, está mal obviamente porque no le he puesto el, el auxiliar. Entonces ahí sería, I want to know what the festival finishes. finishes. Entonces ese, ese the, es simple the, present. Simple present. The festival sería un subject pronoun. I, you, we, they, ¿cuál sería? Day. The festival. The festival is a festival, a carnaval. Why would it be day? If si day is they and they. Uh huh. Sería un un sería it. Sería it. Y si es it, y usted ya me dijo lo anterior de los auxiliares, ¿cuál es la auxiliar? Sería que sería sería dos. Entonces okay. sería what time does, does The festival finishes. Exactly. Very good. Okay. What time does the festival finish? Very good. Ah, okay. Okay. Perfecto. Hoy sí, ya me queda mucho más claro. <laughs> ya hice el dibujito aquí. Ah, bye. <laughs> Entonces sí, la verdad, eso me confunde mucho. El, el, cuándo es que tengo que usar. Pero ya hoy sí ya me queda súper claro cuándo tengo que usar y cuándo. Ajá. Y el presente progresivo. Eh, es como lo programado, vea. Programado y actividades al momento de hablar. Ajá, progresivo es programado. Y simple present es como lo cotidiano, ¿verdad? Exacto. Cotidiano. Ok, hoy sí, okay. teacher. Le okay. agradezco mucho. Bueno, ya está. Feliz noche, cuídense. Igualmente, bye. 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 Bye